Good morning, beautiful souls. Rebecca Thompson here from Bear Beacon Programs for Women, helping women to live a fulfilling life without burning out, to fulfill their sacred mission right here, right now on earth. And so what better day to celebrate womanhood than International Women's Day? Blessings to each and every one of you who have chosen to come to this earth right now to show up and to leave your legacy of love. But what is it that women really want? If we are celebrating International Women's Day and uh, yeah, pop a little like hashtag celebrate below if you're jumping on and you uh, come on on International Women's Day, let us know where you are internationally or nationally so we can celebrate with you. And tell me if you agree with me about what women really want. If we get to the crux, if we get to the root of what women want, and I have been working with thousands of women over the course of my career and helping women to really come from and live in a place of empowerment and connected to their heart and soul's desire so they can show up courageously in this world to fulfill their sacred mission. I would say that each and every one of these women truly want to just be seen and heard and appreciated. That is very much at the core of their desires. And when we don't feel truly seen, heard and appreciated, we maybe have fears around showing up so therefore we don't get seen and heard. We, and that, that's, that's a huge part of this not being seen and heard is the fear around what will happen if we do show up fully, if we speak up fully, if we are seen fully. And I would say sort of most, most of you and I probably all of you who are following me or watching right now are living from a place of privilege and safety right now. And some of you may not be. And I'm sending so much love and support to you right now if that is not the situation that you're in. But for many of us, we are safe to be seen and heard this lifetime. And the one who has to see and hear us the most and appreciate us the most is us, is you. Hearing, seeing and appreciating yourself. Because if you are always operating from a place of needing that part of you to be validated outside of you, needing someone else to see you, to hear you, to appreciate you, to tell you and reinforce your worth, then you are always going to need that because you are feeling the lack of not having that and operating within that lack and only feeling okay when you receive something, when you receive that appreciation, when you receive that love, when you receive that feedback. And so therefore you are always gonna be in a push-pull with believing that about yourself and therefore not being able to consistently show up knowing your worth because it is conditional on the feedback loop. So the only way that you can truly feel seen, heard and appreciated is through the communion with your inner being that already knows that it is worthy, that fully sees you for you, that loves all of you and values all of you because it knows, you know at your very essence of your being, the divinity and the love and the capacity that you are as a creator of your own reality. Until you choose to prioritize that daily communion with your highest self, your soul self, whatever you want to call it, and you know beyond doubt the value of your worth and you see yourself, you hear yourself and you validate and appreciate yourself and your soul's desires and your capacity, then you will keep needing it from outside. You must validate yourself. 
you must come into that daily communion with yourself to know your own worth. That is then how you receive the feedback in the world that gives you even more validation, but you don't need it anymore. See how it works? If we keep ourselves in a place of needing it outside of ourselves, we won't get it because we are looking at the gap. We are looking at the lack and wanting something different. No. The way to create more of something is to focus on something. So if you want to create more sense of being seen and heard and appreciated and validated as the incredible woman that you are and soul that you are, then you have to do more of that yourself, for yourself. And that will actually bring more of it. And it is like that with everything. It is like that with everything. So watch the power of your attention. Where your attention goes, energy flows. You've heard that before, but let it really sink in. The only person that can truly see and hear you and appreciate you is you. Is you. And the more consistently you come into that knowing, the more consistently you communion with yourself on that level, the more consistently you'll be able to show up and create your legacy of love from full alignment with your soul self, which will bring all of the abundance and all of the love and all of the beauty into your life that is already there on the level of your soul self. Sending so much love to you on International Women's Day. You're amazing. You are worthy. Tell yourself that every single day. Take the time in with yourself to really feel that because your soul self, your inner being already knows that. It already knows that. Your job is to align to that. Much love.